Hi guys, welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today I'm going to be doing a short video on how I do my sling setup. So I've actually got two of these slings. Um, I found them to be really good. Um, I was enjoying running two point because uh, I was doing a bit of mill sim and it's a little bit uh, a little bit easier to carry your rifle on on a two point. And also when you're if you're going up a ladder or you're climbing up something, then it's often good to be able to sling it on your back. So a two point sling gives a way sturdier um, platform for your gun basically. However, when you're actually fighting, when you're going and doing some CQB, clo you know, close quarters, room to room stuff, 50% of the time you're gonna be shooting on your off shoulder. So you need to be able to transition quickly between your left and right shoulder. Now, that's something that's not quite as easy to do um, with a two point sling, unless you have it nice and loose. Uh, the other thing that you can do though, is use a one point sling. So most of the time, I prefer to have the two point set up, but I do occasionally want to go to a one point setup. So rather than changing out my entire sling setup, I managed to find the Blue Force Gear Burn Sid socket. Apologies if I've absolutely butchered the name of that, but it's B-U-R-N-S-E-D socket. Um, and it's this little device here. And what it actually is, it's a um it's just a QD receiver plate. Uh, so for any sort of QD sling swivel, uh, and it just attaches onto a attaches onto your webbing. Well, your sling. Um, but I suppose you could put this on your webbing if you wanted to. So it's um, obviously you can see there's a little bit of a little bit of movement here um, in it. That's absolutely fine. That doesn't doesn't change the function of what it does. So what I can do is put this in, and there we go. We've now got a um, a single point sling. So we can then attach this onto the rifle and uh, run it single. Take this off and run it as a two point. So if you've already got um, a two point sling and you were thinking about maybe picking up a one point sling, uh, these can be had for like 20 pounds. So they're about, yeah, they're 20 quid plus delivery uh, if you can find them. Uh, but they are, they're pretty good quality. They're nice and thick. Um, I've had some pretty heavy rifles uh, suspended off this on on single point. No worries at all. Um, just make sure that you get good quality um, QD uh, QD points. This, I believe, is a Blue Force Gear one. They're about again, they're under twenty pounds. Uh, so, but if you're going to be holding up a rifle that's worth um, worth a few hundred quid then it's it's probably worth doing so yeah you get a cool optical illusion as well anyway yeah enough of that um yeah it's a cool product um i've got it on both of my slings so i can always go from a two to a one point mostly i do play a lot of cqb so this does get a lot of use but when it's not in use, I tend to use, this is a Ferro Concepts uh, silencer. Um, or I think they're designed for like your clash hooks and things like that. But you can kind of stuff this in here. There you go. So now it's not gonna make any noise at all. And there you go. Thanks for watching. So guys, I wanted to show you the, the practical operation of the Burns, Burnsid socket. So at the moment, my uh, my rifle's on a two-point configuration with a QD at the back here and a QD at the front, or sort of halfway down the rifle. This is how I usually choose to have it. So if I'm gonna transition shoulders, it's a little bit too tight for me right here. So I can loosen this off and yep, no worries. But if I'm going to be doing a lot of CQB and I'm going to be doing a lot of shoulder transitions, then it might be easier to have a one point. So what I do is take this off here and nice loud click, you know it's in there. Okay, 
so this has got it's not um not the kind of rifle you want to drop so that's on there really really solid um no issues with this at all so that's great it means that i've now got i can now shoulder transition and it's just less of a worry and i can go hands free and just however i can uh still choose to relatively quickly he says uh, go back to a two point which means that i can uh put my sling onto my back like so but also i can actually get it up into the fight still so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have, let me know.